Hey everybody, Tony Phelan here with Competition X, and today on the bench we have a new product from Tamiya. Now this is the first re-release of the Hot Shot 2 ever. It's never been re-released before, and it comes with the Blockhead Motors livery. So Tamiya has worked with Jun Watanabe to create a custom version of the Hot Shot 2, with a bunch of updates to this car to make it a whole new release that is super cool. So some of the key features of this car are going to be the body. It's going to be pre-painted and pre-cut in the blue. It's also going to have plated parts, as well as, of course, the Blockhead Motors livery. There's also a couple extra number plates included. Um, so this is gonna be a really fun car to build. But first, before we do that, we're gonna take it over to the bench, get it unboxed, and show you everything that comes inside the Blockhead Motors car. Okay, so here we have the Tamiya Hot Shot 2 Blockhead Motors Edition kit. Uh, and as you can see, Tamiya does a really great job with the renderings of the actual car. They're super cool pictures. Uh, a little weird, there's usually a little bit of dirt flying up, but not on this one, but it still looks really cool. Uh, information about your pre-cut and pre-painted body, some, four, some of the four-wheel drive information here, some of the other details of the kit. Includes a Type 540 motor with a special sticker, so we'll see that when we get in the kit. Uh, there's also a bunch of stuff on the box, uh, on the sides of the box that we can't really get to because we're kind of limited on space here. So let's just get inside and check it out. Okay, so we have, of course, all of the uh, bagged parts here. We have the pre-painted blue body. It might be the speed control in there. Looks like there's something under there. And of course, the side box here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this over here to get it out of the way so we can go through the parts. We're gonna start with the bag parts and work our way this way. All right, so the first thing we have, and we're gonna take all these out of the, out of the, box, out of the plastic bags here is some of the plated parts. Looks like the rear hubs, uh, maybe servo saver, and servo saver stuff, some bracing, servo mounts, look really nice. These actually look like a wheel for the wheels. You can see the uh, hexes for the cross pins there. And then of course the next thing we're going to have is the wheels themselves. Nice plated wheels. So these little guys here attach to the inside of these here. And it does come with a wider rear wheel than a front wheel. Very nice looking, kind of cool looking design there. The next bag is going to be, let out and check here. So it looks like some roll cage parts, maybe some cross pieces for the roll cage. Some other pieces there, very nice. Then we're going to have here the main, looks like the main chassis. The main chassis there. Some wheel hexes little plate there with the Blockhead Motors emblem on it. It's very cool. Okay. We have the skid plate, looks like the rear skid plate here. Trans transmissional mount here. Um, some steering arms, maybe a shock tower here. This is the front half of the car there, servo mounts up in here. Okay. And it looks like the gearbox, the rear gearbox. That's some monster pieces of plastic there. Heavy. Replica tires. The fronts do feel a little harder than the rears, but it might be the size of the, the rubber. The actual kind of rubber does have a different color to it as well. Same tread pattern, 
just different size tires. Fronts and rears, obviously. What does it say? Super gripper. And it actually has a drive direction on there. So you make sure when you mount them, you mount them in the correct drive direction. Uh, fronts have the same drive direction on them as well. Then we have, looks like the front bumper. With the Tamiya logo inscribed in it. Correct one way and correct the other way. The next piece is going to be the body. So it's gonna come again with a pre-painted body and pre-cut, which is nice. going to have the upper roof panels. They're plastic, they're not uh, metal. And then of course the rear wing, which also comes pre-painted and pre-trimmed. All right, and then we got the Blockhead Motors Hot Shot box of other parts. Kind of a nice box, like you could use it for something. So don't damage the box. I say that as I struggle to get the box open. Okay. Hey, so we have the light bezels here for the driving lights, fog lights. Shock parts. Upper and lower rear suspension arms. Driver figure. And then these are the upper and lower front suspension arms. Pivot balls go in there. Antenna, ooh, solid metal antenna, aluminum uh, mount there. Plastic shock parts. As you can see, there's only three shocks here. The hot shot uses one on each rear suspension arm and then one that sits sideways at the front. It's only gonna get three. You have your fog lights or your driving lights. That's what these bezels go to, where the bezels go. The bezels go to those. You have little ones and then you have big ones there. And then your internal drive parts for the transmission. Super thick pieces, nice and strong. Okay. Now we're not gonna open these up because I don't wanna get all the parts mixed up, but we'll just go through them real quick. So you have the plated front steering knuckles. Very nice. Let's look at this real quick too. This is the motor. And that did not cut at all. Guess I don't need to, it's open already. Maybe. All right, so here is a standard Mabuchi motor, but it does have the Blockhead, my special sticker, Blockhead Motors sticker on there. Kind of cool. So if you want to kind of keep this pristine, you maybe just want to keep this motor separate and run a regular 540 um, motor, or you can actually put this in the car and run it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. All right, then we got Bag A. Bag A is going to have a pinion gear. It's going to have some internal gears as well. I'll bring it a little closer so you can kind of see it. Um, the drive cups here. Looks like your grease also has the tool, the four-way tool. And then some bushings in there. Bag B, more bushings. Your dog bones. 
drive line, drive parts, and then it looks like a lot of the hardware, mounting hardware. It's got a carbon piece up here too. Oh, and it looks like maybe the anti-roll bar's in there as well. Right there. The bag C is going to have more mounting hardware. Ah, there, no, well, I can't tell if that's aluminum or not. That could be aluminum. A roof panel, zip ties for attaching the window netting. Looks like a, another aluminum here. This was originally used to guard the capacitor so you don't burn yourself. But since there's not a capacitor here, they probably just give it to you for looks. Looks like maybe some also the uh, turnbuckles in there, threaded rod. We have bag D is going to be the D bag. It's going to have your shock oil, your springs, all the shock building parts, more mounting hardware, shock shafts in there as well, O-rings, bladders, again three of everything, there's only three shocks. And then E is going to be final mounting hardware, zip ties, body clips, wheel nuts, and then of course these are your separate number plates. Moving on, we're going to get to this here. This box is probably going to be the speed control. It'll be a hobby wing. Yep. THW 1060 speed control. Don't really need to take it out, but we're going to. Let me show you. Yeah, THW 1060 RTR. Good speed control for that motor. Okay. Now that we've seen all the parts, we'll just go over the paperwork real quick. Paperwork. Here are the instructions to mount the number plates. It's going to give you um, templates to put the holes in the number plates so you can mount them, as well as the template for the window netting, which comes in the sticker bag. I should change the blade on that. Have your standard caution stickers, foam padding, probably for the battery tray, your window netting, put the window nets here, cut them out and you got your window netting, and then of course your blockhead motors decal sheet, side plate, side plate, hood plate, flag, seat belts, pretty cool. And then finally, your blockhead motors, hot shot to manual. Interesting, showing you how to adjust this for the gearing. Here's how you put the window netting on, driver, roll cage, shocks, wheels and tires, the little mounting discs we saw at the beginning here, then of course how to, this has already been done so this doesn't really apply, but this does, putting the stickers on, mounting the number plates, uh, the lights, And then of course, all the spare parts that come with the kit. So there you have it. Everything that comes in the Blockhead Motors Hot Shot 2 re-release. Now, as much as we'd like to put this thing on the shelf because of how cool it is, we are gonna take it out and get it dirty. So please make sure you stay tuned to the channel so that you can see further videos of this car when we do some action with it. Thanks for watching.